So we're going to be doing a new weekly today. It is a perk weekly, it looks like. So a lot of perk synergies. There are no pills, but we do have pill bug. So keep that in mind. I think we're just going to run a kiwi here. So we could give the kiwi or give the strawberry to the ladybug, but it won't get its own perk buff. I think we're actually getting more net attack just doing it like this. And we draw. That's fine. Okay, now we can throw in a ladybug. A little beetle cooking here. Another beetle. This is one of those you could sell your either kiwi or hummingbird, but let's just stack them. I think this is better. And I think... Do we want to overwrite? We'll put strawberry and then the honey will overwrite the strawberry. It is, it's still two triggers on our ladybugs, which is pretty solid. Excuse me. All right, so, ooh, this is actually interesting. We can get some garlic here, a little garlic press action. And then we can get a permanent strawberry on somebody. I don't know who. Tabby Cat is actually pretty good here. Run a Tabby Cat. And then Tabby Cat does work with putting perks on itself, which is good to know. I definitely want to try doing like a full on Tabby Cat build this week. This is the only week that I can think that would actually be good for Tabby Cat. So we're going to check it out. Oh, this is just beautiful. Oh, baby. Garlic on the ladybug is incredible. And then you get some extra health from the tabby cat, potentially. Um, let's take a couple levels. We got two fur-bearing trout. I mean, you gotta run this, right? Just full send it. And then I guess we just freeze the trout. I still want to keep the ladybug in the front. It's got the most health, it's gonna have the most attack. And then... I guess we'll just overwrite the strawberry with another strawberry. <laughs> as many strawberries as possible. Eleven six garlic on turn four is just ridiculous. It's fantastic. Okay. So we grab you. Um I think we sell beetle, which means we don't need the the wall chicken anymore. I'd rather get this, and then we can keep the flying squirrel. Because then the wall chicken, like, what are we going to put it on, right? We don't really want it. We can put it on the ladybug, I guess. But, eh. Eh, is it that good? Not really. Okay, so ladybug is going to be huge. I wish we could find more tabby cats. Something I never thought I would say in a million years. <laughs> Give me more tabby cats. But they're actually pretty good with this specific build. Because we just need a lot of health on this ladybug. It's got the attack covered. I'm not a huge fan of any of these. I mean, cardinal maybe. But like, what would we even want to put in the shop as far as cardinal is concerned? I don't know. We could run a hair, maybe. Don't think level 3 Ladybug is gonna cook it, but maybe we get a Dumbo Octopus. You know? Just see what we can get. Hardo might be fine here. Again, like, I don't know what exactly we're going for as far as held foods go. But even just like buying a held food for the stats and whatnot isn't that bad, you know? You know what I'm saying? And of course our squirrel is just kind of cooking up a storm over here. Slowly getting that attack going. Okay. Oh, who's this gonna hit? Okay, good, we draw. That could have gone poorly, but it didn't, fortunately. <laughs> we got three croissants. <laughs> We're looking a little French over here. What's even the point of the croissant at this point, though, you know? 
Is there a point? I can't decide. We could just grab a tar too. Tar is just additional held foods. We could, in theory, pill the tar onto somebody and then start getting chilies in shop. Again, I'm not actually sure if that's worth it, but we could, in theory, do that. Um, I don't know what we want to do here. This is kind of funky. Maybe we just keep the pill here for a little bit. Like, just hold on to it. It's good to have available. And yeah, so now we can just double stack some tars here. I don't know, this team is going to have to get a direction pretty soon here. Because I have no idea what we're, what we're doing. That melon's gonna hurt. And hurt it did. That'll be our first loss. Ooh, two level ups. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. We could run a crane. We could do a good dog and hope that we just get a bunch of perks to pair with our tabby cat. Or the bad dog, but with the book. Or we could get a good dog. We do have that as a potential. Um, I mean, Crane is kind of clunky. Maybe we run bad dog. We have the flying squirrel, right? So maybe that's just good enough. And then trying not to overlap these held dudes too much. You can hear that chewing in the back, I apologize. <laughs> the dog is just going at it. Okay, we got a few. We got a few good perks there. Get a level up on the flying squirrel. Elephant seal. So that could be good. Um... Get, who do we get rid of here? It's hard because Tabby Cat's giving us a lot of a lot of stuff in general. A lot of health. But I guess this serves a similar purpose, right? So you're gonna get two held foods once these two die. In theory, that is. Or we could fill somebody and get it permanent. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, refresh the Pandora's box. I don't think the leveling up Pandora's box does anything. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. A little bit unfortunate. Axolotl is huge. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Um, how do we want to do this? Uh, we could pill one of these level 2s here. Or we just get rid of Elephant Seal. Because I want to keep... I really want to try to get Axolotl Good Dog working at some point. It doesn't have to be this game if it doesn't line up, but... I really want to get it to happen at some point. And this looks like it could be. I'm not going to say it is. It could be. There's a level. Into a Questing Beast. Question mark? No. Never lucky. <laughs> Never lucky. I think we get rid of Elephant Seal here. I think we go Axolotl does the same job as Ele Elephant Seal. I mean, we're gonna need to get him leveled up for sure, but I think this will be good. Okay. Definitely looking like Whale Shark is a is a play here. We draw. That's fine. We're trying to go later on here. Drawing is totally okay. Pancakes. Though I guess the... Eh, the Pandora's box will activate before the pancakes would, I'm pretty sure. Because it goes toy and then held food. Um, anything good here? Nothing. Ooh, we got a chocolate. 
There is our questing beast. Okay. Um, it would probably be a good idea to do it this turn while we're while we're here. Get the good dog a little sooner. But is there any reason to go questing beast level two? See, the hard part is I don't want to sell one of our big homies here. Because it's also the only way that we're getting buffs, <laughs> right? Like, we don't want to just nuke our chances here. Ah, he had a bus. He got a bus. Alright, so now, I mean, we got a little bit of scaling here. Let's just ditch the fur-bearing trout. We can throw in a harpy eagle, just because it's good. And holy grail, of course. We'll go harpy eagle. Definitely gonna... To here. We actually should have done it the other way. That's my bad. <laughs> we missed out on one one. Um, elephant seal just feels like it would be really good with good dog. I don't know where we would put it. So that we'll kind of have to figure out. Okay, looking alright here. Not too bad. Can we get Axolotl to level 3? That's the question here. If we can get it before Good Dog, that would be huge. Maybe. Come on, double chocolate. Never lucky. Never lucky. Alright, end turn. So we'll get Good Dog next turn. We still have one chance, one more turn to get it before Good Dog starts up. You know, for what that's worth. Ooh, okay, we're down to one. Not ideal. So we're gonna do this. Not an axolotl, we're gonna go put on bad dog. And yeah, I mean, I think we're just looking for axolotls right now. We could buy some like perks and whatever, but... Because if we do tomato on you, aren't you gonna override it? Or does good dog not give itself perks, maybe? Not sure how that works. Alright, one roll. Hey, another chocolate. Huge. Okay, so silly amounts. It is not said anywhere that I've seen how many is silly amounts of perks, <laughs> but I think it should trigger Axolotl multiple times. Yes, it sure does. Holy. That is absolutely insane. That scaling is unmatched. What the heck? Holy moly. Okay, well, now I kind of don't really want to run Elephant Seal. Because these guys are already huge. Um, so, Magic Beans are great with Axolotl. Because you can do... You get one buff from playing it, and then he gets a Golden Egg next turn. Getting another Axolotl buff. So it's like two for the price of one, you know? Um, so the one issue with this kind of build, right, is you're effectively running a three squad. You can kind of get a, the good dog built up here a little bit, but it's a three squad for the most part. But if you get it early enough, sometimes a three squad of 50-50s is just good, you know? And I think we're just going to be fine here. Looking fantastic, dude. The good dog axolotl. I don't want to use the B word, but it's a little broken. <laughs> a little bit. That's insane. Alright, we'll give him some holy water. Just give him... I don't think it does anything if he's already a good dog. Yeah, it's just 8 health. And I think our best bet is going to be getting our harpy eagle leveled. That's huge. If I had more health, I would go for the the good dog level 3, but I want to make sure I don't like lose, you know? That would kind of suck. And they're already like 50. Like the good dog level 3 won't actually do anything for us. Alright, we got one more turn. Let's see it. Can we get anything? I mean, there's, there's an argument to be made to just spamming perks on our good dog because that's all we have 
Um, we have magic beans here. If we end up drawing, you know, get an extra little 3-3. That's not too bad. Alright, let's just see who we go against. That's all we can do right now. That's a formidable team, for sure. But we do trade very nicely here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh. I love it. That is wonderful. This combo. Jeez Louise, dude. This... The Axolotl good dog is insane. Yes, it's only a three squad, but still absolutely insane. Next time we're gonna have to try to go for level three good dog. I didn't realize it was this strong. And this is the weekly to do it. So <laughs> hope you enjoy it. There's gonna be more good dog to come. But for now, I'll catch you in the next one.